What's up, everyone? We here to unwrap this Red Cat Machete 4S, and then after we unwrap her, we're gonna throw the 6S Mamba system inside there, running with a 22 pinion gear with the radio link receiver, and she's gonna be pushing straight out the box. Check it out. Hey, everyone. I want to take a brief second out to have a safety talk. And I'm not talking about my normal RC safety talk. I'm talking about keeping a lovely lady of your life safe. I'm pretty sure everyone out there have someone like this in their life. Or if you're that lovely lady and you just trying to stay safe out here, stop by safetydivas.net and pick you up a crystal perfect pouch safety keychain. Promise you, you won't regret it. So no more worrying about her walking alone at night or driving for that matter with all the road rage going on out here or just as simple as hanging out with her friends because anything could happen. But just know she'll be in good hands like Allstate. But instead, her safety will be in her hands with a crystal perfect pouch safety keychain. So go to safetydivas.net and put in my name, Louis Fix It, for your first buy discount. Once again, here's the website. Don't miss out. You won't regret it. Keep the ladies in your life safe. But let's tune back to this video. Yes, so you stuck around to kick it with Lou's Fix It today. So you definitely want to see this one. Now let's get this thing out the box. Yes, now that we got out the box. Whew, she is big, man. She is big. Wow. Ah, wasn't expecting it to be this big. Let's unwrap her. Let's unwrap her. Get that. Woo! Get that baby unwrapped. Woo! Yeah, she is looking real good. Man, this thing is sitting low. Wow. I love how low it sits. This thing definitely not turning over. Oh, man. All right, so what comes inside of the box? So inside of the box, we're gonna start off, you get your regular um, transmitter, Red Cat transmitter. I got the same one with the um, Everest 10. Mm, not bad, not bad. I'm not gonna be using it, but cause like I said, we jumping straight with the radio link from the beginning. And I got a bunch of receipt, I mean transmitters, if you guys want a transmitter, hit me up, hit me up, definitely hit me up. I got about 10, 15 transmitters that I just sit around and don't use them for nothing. And now let's get into the, we're going into the menu first. You know, I love the menu. They give you a couple numbers if you want to attach your joint up. Uh, this is for the window. What is this for? Oh, they give you the background and you can put your number on your background. Wherever that will go, I don't know if I would tap mines up. Not on this one, maybe an empty car. I'd use my numbers on something like that. And the manual, the manual, sorry, the manual. Let's see what we have. Do they have their part diagram? You know I love that part diagram. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, nah, they don't. They just tell you how to operate the vehicle. Uh, I'll look into it. Maybe they have maybe they have it inside. Um, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. I'll look into that. And then you have your parts. They give you all of your extra parts. See what we have up inside here. So we have the... Oh, I'm going to need that. No, I'm not going to need that because this 4S is going into another vehicle. And that's going to be used on the other vehicle because I think I'm going to use two 2S's. Two ah, don't know yet. And then we have our arms. Ooh, wow, these arms is big. We have the front. Oh, they give you replacement arms for your front and your back. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Red Cat, wow, that's not bad. Um, Then we have... These is your edge pieces to your shocks, just in case your shocks break out. What is this? What is this? This is your center drive. Um, the center drive rods that goes inside there, that's that. And what I'm hoping is that this right here 
when you scan this, it'll give you your parts manual. That's what I'm hoping. Yes, this is what this is for. This is what they're saying is for insulation instructions if needed. So I'm hoping when you scan this, it takes you inside and it'll take you to somewhere where you can see uh, all the parts and the part numbers. That's all I look for when I'm on my manual is the parts and the part numbers and how you install it and take it out, you know. That's pretty good. If it is that, that's pretty good. Um, this bag here was empty information. This is right. Uh, ah, that's just a information sheet. Uh, you got a little stick in there. I don't know what that stick is for. And you got your controller. I guess that's to set your um reset your ESC. But that's not important right now. Let's dig inside of her first. Oh man, do you see that look on her? Ooh, she got the body. Look at the body, look at the bottom of her. They give her a tat on the bottom. Ah, they, they messed me up, they put a 4S on the bottom. I don't care though. I say that it's a 4S, you could, you could wanna know, you could think that it's a 4S all you want to, but when you see this thing push, you're gonna be like, whoa, that ain't the 4S, that, that, that ain't moving like the 4S. So let's open up the body, see what we have. That body look crazy, and the way it sits so low is, oh man. And she don't even bottom out that easy. Wow, I might let the sharks down just a little bit more. Let the sharks down, but that that looks sweet to me. Um, I'm really not gonna get into the system that's in here because, like I said, I'm gonna tear this system out. The receiver, um, not to, yes, the receiver, the ESC, the motor, the fan that's with the motor. I'm gonna pop all that out and I'm gonna put the uh put my system inside here. But um let me take a look at this and see how you pop all this stuff out. Alright, so the motor, the receiver, the ESC looks pretty simple. It looks standard to come out. Um the receive the ESC and uh lights the switch to turn it on and off. Let me pop that off. Let me get my motor off of there real quick. So this is just double-sided taped down. Both of them is double-sided taped down the switch and the um, ESC. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how do you open up this box for the receiver. There's no screws on the top. I'm pretty sure you just got to loosen up these four screws on the bottom. Let me check it out. All right, so it is just that simple just to take the four screws out of the bottom this whole case comes out in one piece. You still have your um, your servo hooked up inside there, so you can't pull it all the way out. All your wires is there, your receiver is sitting inside there. It's not mounted down to nothing. So me, I'ma just pop this out. Before we get the motor out, I'ma take the ESC, my Mamba system ESC, and I'm going to slot this in with the receiver. I'm going to work on this one side, then I'm going to spin it around and work on the motor side. You know, I don't want to jump back and forth. I'm just hoping that this mounts up here the way I want it to. Before I seal everything closed, I have to check this out to make sure it's working, because if not, I'm going to have to pull my receiver and everything back out to make sure this thing, to get this thing working properly. So, let me link it to my, cause this is a new receiver. So I gotta link it to the controller. Okay, we have power to the, um, We have power to the servo. Um, let me make sure I get power to my motor. Here we go. Okay, so everything is functioning. I can close it up. All right, so that is the motor. Got the, I mean, not the motor, that's the ESC, the receiver inside there. Wow, this thing fits. Like, this thing belongs on here. Like. It just straight up came and was like, listen, this is my spot. This is my car right here. Wow, that fits so perfect. I can't believe that fits so perfect. It's unbelievable. 
All right, so now that that's done, let's swap out the motor. So the first thing I always do, taking off these motors from the motor mount is heat up that screw to make sure that the um, screw lock is kind of loosened up. Uh, I do not use a power tool on this. I always use a hand tool so I can ensure that, oh, wow, this thing is on there tight. Let me heat up some more. You be nervous. I be nervous taking these screws out of here, man. You get one script screw from that motor. Oh my god. You be like, oh no, like you want to cry. You damn near cried inside when the when it first twisted. You see it ain't unloosened. You be like, oh my god, not today, please no. Uh it looks as this ain't just as simple as a pull-out. Oh. Gotta take the casing. All right, so it looks like I gotta take the casing from around the motor. So to get the motor out, you have a bracket that's on top of your motor. I mean, on top of your, your spur gear. And it's a side piece, this is the side piece. This is a stopper for your motor, this little piece that pokes out here. It's a little piece that pokes out on the side there, if you can see that. That's the stop stopper for your motor. So you can't pull your motor, you can't just loosen up your motor mount screws and slide it out like how you would do uh one of the armor um 6s vehicles this one oh wow it goes inside there okay i got something else blocking me so red cat they give you this screw that screws into the bottom of the motor right I guess that's your locking screw from the bottom. I, I don't know what it's for. It's a groove that the motor goes in to slot it in. And they put a screw in through the bottom. To release the screw is a little hole. It's a little hole on the bottom of your, um, your chastity right here. Where's she at? It's a little hole to the bottom of your chassis. So now that we got the motor out, let's get everything off of here to set up the new. So we're going to pop this on a new motor. Okay, so everything is done. Got the motor in her. Got the ESC inside of her. Let me see, let me see. Do I got power? Oh, turn it on. Gotta turn it on first. Now that I got that six s weight inside there with the batteries, I'm definitely got to push the shots up. Oh, she is running. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. See what she got. up on her, but she's looking good. She's looking real good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes, baby. So I only got on the 3S, so that was only half the power. I'm waiting for the batteries for it to come. Let me, let's come inside. Let's take a look at the, how everything worked out for me. All right, man, so as you can see, I'm just running on a 3S. This is a 3S I got for one of my other cars. I got two of them. I can put both of them in right now, but I'm going to wait for the battery to come. While the battery is coming, I'm going to let all the screw lock, everything that I had to screw lock, I'm going to let that dry up before I take it out on this first run. Don't want no screws, you know, loosening up on me because that motor is hard as hell to get into. But, um, 
That's my ESC. I put my ESC. I screwed it down. I just tied all my wires up on the side of it. You know? That one got screwed down. She ain't going nowhere. Uh, got my motor inside there. Got the surpass uh, dual fan up on there. I'm still running my surpass. You know, dual fans, those things is working. Them things is really good. So if it get a little bit too hot, I got one of them other fans. The um, D, uh, KKY. I got another one of those with the sensor. If this not working good enough, I'm going to put that one on. And that is how she going to be running. I'm going to take this cap off there. And I'm going to run two 3S batteries instead of one 6S battery. And see, when with the other motor, it was sitting up. It wasn't taking that much, you know, drag back down. So now I'm going to take it. I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to uh, tighten up my shocks a little bit. I'm going to let this down just a little bit so it can sit up. Not all the way up. But sit up, you know, a little bit more higher. And that is my body. That's my body. She sits nice and low. Ooh, man. The tires sit over top of the, the body of her. She like a little snake just slithering through the streets, boy. Yes. Yes, so that's the red cat machete. Yo, oh, one more thing. One more thing I want to say about this. I like that they took consideration of the body and they give you these little caps that goes around the um, body mount before you put the, the um, clips inside of it so that you won't have to scratch up your body. Yo, I like that. I like the thought of that, that they actually thought of their body, you know, around these clip areas getting scratched up because that's the main areas of your body that get scratched. That's the first scratch you get on your body is from the clips that you put inside of the body mount. And they took these little rubber pieces. They took an extension and put a little rubber piece. You slide that on first and then you slide your clip on and no more scratches around your body mounts. That's that's wonderful right there, man. They took a lot of thought into that one. They they actually listening to what some people had to say. So I'm gonna take this thing out once the batteries come. I'm gonna throw it back up here. Throw the batteries inside of it. Throw the batteries inside of it, and we're gonna take it out to the street. We're gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how she run on the street with the six that's inside there. So don't go nowhere yet. We coming back for more. I got the batteries delivered. She's ready to run. Um, so I went ahead and I got these CNHL. Whoo, these batteries, these batteries is a little step up from the Z battery I've been getting on all my cars. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch over to these ones. This is the one I got on the Big Rock, but I got the six S for the Big Rock. This one right here, now it is a 6S, but um, it's not enough room inside the, the compartments that hold the battery. These, it's enough room, but these straps is not long enough to hold over a 3S battery. A 4S is not holding. The 4S batteries that I was getting for it, these ones like this, if you see, let me throw it inside there real quick. So don't think that you can get a 3S, bat a 4S battery and fit the forest battery inside here because it don't fit. There's not enough room for the strap to strap down. It's not going to strap down. So if you got a 4S, either you're going to have to take both straps and, you know, make two straps into one. You know, you put two on the one to strap your forest battery down or you're going to have to get two, uh, two S's. <clears throat> I don't know how everybody been doing it, but when I tried it out and I tried to put the 4S battery inside there, it didn't work. It wasn't going to work. So I was changing it to a 6S anyway, so it really didn't matter. And I was getting two 3S batteries. So the batteries I got, these ones is a 66 MAH and it's 120C. So this thing going to have long battery life. So let me show y'all the difference of the power from what I just showed y'all a little while ago with the 3S. And whew, the success, wow. When I say the difference in power, whoo, the fans even sound nice. 
The difference in the power check this bad boy. She hooked. Check this bad boy. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's 6S power there, boy. She can wreck go out and she gonna rip the street. Oh man, I'm about to take this out and we're gonna have a ball. So stick around for the outro. I'm gonna throw this joint on the street. I'm gonna throw you a little music to keep you going with it, keep you up with it. And um, we're gonna call this one like that. So that is the Red Cat Machete. So uh, until next time, anybody out there that's new to this channel that just come to see this pretty face for the first time, hit that like button under there, subscribe, hit turn on your notifications so you can be first one to see these videos, the first one to like these videos, the first one to share, and I always say I appreciate anybody out there that share my videos, that get more people into my channel, to view my channel, and comment, comment, definitely, comment, because I always say, talk to me, I talk back. See y'all in the next one. Whoa! They should flip out there. That's that slump. She took a spill. Ooh, we didn't do nothing but squash that. Oh, oh, oh. The body is still looking good. Yeah, she look. Yeah, she definitely. Yeah, she look. Look at the tires. Power on it is crazy, bro. Shoot. I don't know why they commit, how they can make this a 6S. Watch my back, because Look at the tires. That baby is bad. You see how she's spinning around? Woo! How's she spin? <laughs> spin a no joke on her. <laughs> Yo! Baby ain't no joke. And she still caught no damage. Look at the damage on her. Only damage that was caused is a little scuffs on the top of the wing. On the top of the this part right here. Got a little scuffs on there. Got a little scuffs on the top of the bottom, but I mean on the top of the body, but it ain't it ain't give nothing down to oh the front. Wow, that, that's some that's some good protection on that body right there. Definitely some good protection.